The problem is usually it's like ugly and sweaty and you don't really know what's happening or what you're supposed to do in hacking generally. Russell Brandom, I'm policy editor at The Verge and uh, I cover cybersecurity. And I don't really play video games that much. I know some of them. Great band. Unattended computers are great. Like you walk up to the computer and you like hit buttons until it like does what you want. I'm flashing back to all the moments during this recording that I've left you alone with my computer. <laughs> yeah, I could have been hacking this this whole time. This isn't even how like audio editing works. Are they trying to like fake his voice or something? Or is it a brainwave? I don't want to start too far back, but like usually computers, it's like keyboard characters, the matrix, that kind of thing. They don't really do like lines, like sound wave, that's not really, a, but, but also it's like once you matched the thing, you got everything. It was just like accessing camera, accessing other thing. If they'd thrown in like shell access and then you got everything, I suppose I wouldn't be complaining. Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, three swordfishes. The hatch is locked from inside. If I can locate the control panel, I'll be able to bypass security using the remote hacking device. Ooh, the remote hacking device. Scanning for data connection. I would say the most accurate part of that was when you're like moving the thing around and you're like, oh God, does it work here? No, maybe here. In general, people think of hacking as like, like a cool and powerful thing. Yo, kind of feel like God. But if you've ever tried to get a router to work, and it's not working and you're like, I guess maybe we'll do this thing or this other thing. And you're just trying different things and getting more and more stressed out. That's basically what it is. Like that, you're trying to get the router to work the way it's supposed to. If you're like, okay, I like saw in this tutorial or anyway, this guy told me you can get it to work this other way, but something's going wrong and I can't really tell what it is. And so maybe if we try this and then I try this other thing. And so the bit with him like, all right, over here, I guess, maybe. And it's not even like hot or cold, you're just like, uh, control panels around here somewhere. That seemed very accurate. Batman Arkham Knight, three and a half swordfish. Hit X to start hack. Oh, this is a pipes game. I love pipes. Yeah, this is, see, this is like a classic. This is like Tetris almost. And I guess like implicitly, the like hacking is flowing through the pipes. I've heard the internet is just a series of tubes. Can you confirm or deny? That is true. It's true that it's a series of tubes. I don't know if the, it's like these tubes, really. Okay, so I would say number one, hack successful is not accurate. <laughs> and in general, I've never seen tubes. Bioshock, one swordfish. Yes. He's like hacking it with his sword? Yeah, and it's just like a USB rock that's sitting there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, wait, and he's like, he's just setting on fire to true and then it goes on fire. I would say this is the, the most accurate so far. In that like, ideally you want to password protect your rock, but basically you're like getting to a point where you have access and you can just change the settings for things. And then it's like, what about this parameter? And you're like, that parameter is now this thing. And then like a nuclear centrifuge in Iran blows up, right? Like that's... Is that a specific example? Yeah, no, that's the Stuxnet is like this, this watershed moment in military hacking. They were just like, make setting fast. And then it went really fast and the centrifuge blew up. How did Stuxnet actually become introduced into the Iranian computers. The initial in infection might have been via a USB thumb drive. But yeah, like all they're doing is like changing the parameters. So like, he like goes up to a thing and he's like, set this to this. That was pretty good. Hack and slash, five swordfishes. Good job. Oh, it's a circuit board. Okay, yeah. Again, we're matching, which I think is like a solid gameplay mechanic. It's like Toad's House in Mario 3 but on a circuit board. So generally people don't hack like at the circuit level very much because it's it's just like pretty deep in. Like ideally you want to just be like installing some software or something. But 
if it's like, how do we open this door? Can we like short circuit it so it gets confused and just freaks out? Plausibly, you could be doing some weird circuit thing. Mass Effect 2, four swordfishes. This is like, um, Flappy Bird. Ooh, it shocks you if you get it wrong. I've actually noticed this on people's phones. If you don't keep your phone super clean, like phones have the for, like the same keypad and like you will see fingerprint smudges on the keypad, which I always thought was just like a thing that happened in movies. And then I look at my friend's phone, you can just see which numbers they that have been pushed. Uh, so I would say that's real. Prey, three swordfishes. That drone wasn't watching, I could jump the fence. Wait, he hacked it without, like, touching it. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecure. We all sent an anonymous tip. The important thing is that he reported the vulnerability, and then they're gonna be like, oh no, you're an evil hacker. And he's like, no, your system was unsecure. All I had to do was point this intangible object at it, and it blew up. I was just investigating your thing, I found this vulnerability, I told you about it, now you're mad, but you're not mad because I found it, you're mad because the thing is broken. It's not my fault. And then they're, they're like suing him and there's a computer fraud and abuse act violation and they throw the book at Spider-Man. Oh, they're not messing around. It's complicated. But I think it would be a good game mechanic. Spider-Man, three and a half swordfishes. And they're doing like cool scary things and they're very skilled, but it's like, kind of janky, because it's not supposed to work that way. That's the truth about hacking. Hack, hack, hack.